What up guys, this is Kong and I want to say Merry Christmas to you guys or Happy Holidays, whatever holiday you are uh, happen to be celebrating. Uh, today I got a chance to watch Dragon Ball Super episode 120 and episode 121. But I'm going to talk about episode 120 first. Um, I'm just going to point out the thing that I uh, noticed or uh, find interesting in episode 120. Uh, overall, I feel like episode 120 didn't really, you know, get, got me hyped up, didn't get me excited. It was just like, uh, okay, it was kind of flatline for me, if you guys know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to go through it anyway with you guys, just to let you know that, hey, you know, I did watch Dragon Ball Supers uh, episode 120, and I'm not being lazy, I am, I am busy, yes other than doing all these other movie reviews for you guys but let's get to it so uh, so there are three uh, I guess you could say there's three machines from Universes 3 and um so Universes 3 their I get their fighter attack Goku uh, Goku and Gohan and Vegeta I think just yeah Vegeta three of them and one of the machine, Panchia, like, you know, launched the attack from Goku. And then why didn't Goku just dodge it? Sometimes, you know, I wonder why Goku just dodged the fight with the punches. But then all the time he does, you know, uh, dodge or block. So it's like, Goku isn't that technically that smart. He is smart, but he's not. Uh, a tactician like Hit is, you know, or like his son Gohan. So, and then I want to talk about where Go. Okay, so Gohan get hit. Okay, so Gohan about to throw a punch, and then the uh, the machine just kind of like blocked it or like kind of threw the punch, and then I guess Gohan was cuffed off guard that the robot machine can actually you know block and think strategically and he goes out of super saiyan mode or saiyan mode you know like can't can he just still sustain it even though still be surprised so that was the one question i was like maybe gohan hasn't really developed or sustained that power for a long period of time uh despite of being you know, one surprise, being thrown punch at, or some sort of like that, you know? So I thought that was kind of like, oh, okay, maybe he hasn't had a full training, or he hasn't been fully, uh, you know, haven't fully attained it, you know, to a certain extent. So uh, Android 17 and 18 working together to take out that big armor machine guy. Big armor guy. And they, they is like, you know what? It's okay that you're big and you got all these defense uh, uh, power. All they did, they just kept firing, you know, fireball. You know, not fireball, but uh, I guess you could say fire a powerball. And just at him. Just kept back going at him. It's just like, at one point, he's going to break uh, physically. You know, like his his armor is going to break. And they're right. And they, he actually break. And he got kicked out. And then... um. Vegeta, Goku, Gohan working together to uh, take out um, the three robots. Um, uh, they formed together and it became a big, gigantic uh, machine. And then they were like, you know, the, the, uh, Goku and Vegeta throw a punch. And then like Gohan threw his blast. And the monster out the machine just like, holy, holy, holy. And then Gohan just like full blast and just destroy them, you know, like. Not destroy them, but like trying to get them out of the, uh, the the stage, you know, the tournament, the fighting stage. And then um, and uh, we see here, Gohan actually earned Beerus respect. Instead of him calling him kid, he called, you know, Gohan. Like he acknowledged that, you know, Gohan has skill, tactic. He's actually a smart fighter, so he earned Beerus respect. It's like in this tournament of power. A lot of people earn Beerus respect. Uh, Master Yoroshi, uh, Tien, everybody earned Beerus respect. Like, 
Universe of Seven Fighter, they're a really talented uh, fighter. They're not just a piece of shit. They're actually talented and smart, you know. And then uh, I uh, put that, you know, Dr. Pepperoni. It's kind of funny. It's actually, it doesn't, it's not spelled like pepperoni, but it's pepperoni. But it sounds like pepperoni. And I thought it was kind of funny. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but I find it actually kind of funny. But so let's get to the end. So there, uh, there's three uh, machines that are fusion, are fused together as one, and then Gohan and Goku and Vegeta and Gohan is like, you know, hey man, uh, you know you you're defeated, you know, just get off the stage, off the fighting stage, and you know save us the trouble, save you the trouble, you know. And he like, fuck no, and he just like uses like staff, a uh, power staff, whatever you want to call it, and then he fuses himself. Onto the uh, uh, um, the you know the already fused robot of the three robot you know fused into one and he now adding him onto the fusion so it's actually a four fusion so that's like interesting we see two fusion we saw three fusion now we saw four fusion it's like damn they go on a lot of these fusion you know it's like it's kind of cool but. And at the end of that note, uh, like I said, guys, this episode 120 is kind of flat. It didn't really provide me that excitement, that all that hype, that epicness, that, oh my gosh, you know, this is worth it. It's okay, but next episode, mm, it's going to be great. Uh, I'm excited to talk about it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time and effort to watching my Dragon Balls uh, Super uh, Episode 120 review for you guys anyway please like thumbs up share subscribe and browse my channel there's a lot of contents on there especially you know movies um cars unpacking and dragon ball you know reviews anyway guys take care bye bye